Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and in this video I'm going to show you how can you create your own MCP server which can talk to the APIs which are hosted in Azure and then interact with the LLM. So in a nutshell, we, will, we want our LLM to talk to the APIs which are already hosted on Azure. So that's what we are going to do today. So it's a multi-step process. So the very first thing we need is we need our APIs to be hosted somewhere. So in this case, it is on Azure. Then we need to build an MCP server, which is going to talk to our API and give some response to the LLM. And then we have LLM, which is in turn going to talk to MCP whenever it needs to invoke some API calls or tools. So that's the overall agenda for today. So let me quickly show you the very first thing, which is the API. So this is the same simple function which I have created and it is like get weather of a given city. And what it does is I'm not doing anything fancy here, rather I'm just saying that, okay, return this as an output whenever a user is making a call or whenever LLM is making a call to this get weather API. So this is the API which I have already hosted on Azure here you can see so I will quickly start it from here so it started it means it is ready to use for us so now we have our we have our API ready and it is up and running next thing is we need to build our MCP server so for building the MCP server I'm utilizing fast MCP so you make sure that you're installing all these dependencies and then we need to create our MCP server this is the name of our server you can give any name then this is the tool so the api or the functions which we want to invoke has to be decorated with tool or the resources depending on the scenario so in this case it is a tool for me and what i am saying is this is the description for my api or the tool and this is the url from where we need to invoke this particular tool so and here we are just returning the response so that's all i have and at the end, you can see that if it is main or the main, uh, main calling class or the Python file, then we just need to uh, check if it is that, then go ahead and run this mcpd.run. So right now I'm not passing in any parameter here. You can see that it supports three type of transport protocols, which is STDIO, SSC and streamable HTTP. So to make it simple, in this video, I'm going to utilize stdio but in near future videos i will definitely try all of these options for you so let's go with the stdio first and i'm not passing in anything so by default it will take the MC, uh, stdio as my transport protocol so now we have our mcp server ready next thing is how can we make sure that it is up and running so for that we need to run an inspector so you can run an inspector using npx model context protocol slash inspector and it will launch the inspector for us so it will provide you a nice ui as you can click on the links there are like two links let me pull it up so here you can see there are two links i'm going to take the one which is pre-filled with my token so let's go to browser and so this is the nice ui which you will see on the left hand side there are few things so you can choose whatever you want in our case it is stdio so i will go ahead and click on connect so sometimes it takes time to connect so you can just give it few seconds and then do it so here you can see it is connected and once it is connected you have this tools option on the top bar so click on this and it will list down all the tools for you. So here you can see this is get weather, which we define. And this is the output schema of our tool. So let's go ahead and provide some city name. So Seattle is my city. So let's see if it comes up with some response. So it is executing. Let's give it a few seconds. Like I said, it takes some, a few seconds to get connected with our API. So I will restart it once again. It got connected. Now I'm going to provide the city name again. And here you can see we got the response this time and it is the same as what our API was returning. So this is one way to test our tool before utilizing the same in the client. 
well let's go disconnect it and i will go back to v visual studio code so now there are multiple ways to consume it so either if you are doing it for the very first time you can just go to your copilot uh, github copilot and here you can add it so there you can see something called tools so click on this configure tools and here you can add this particular tool so there is add more tools add mcp server and here you can go with this one and provide the URL which was shown over here. Just give me a second. There was a so I'm going to this pick this URL and then paste it over here. Here you need to provide the name. So I would just say I will just give some name so that it is easy to identify. So how do you want to get it added? User settings or workspace settings? So I'm setting it as a user settings. Save and retry. And here you can see it got added over here. So this is my new server which got added. So you want to utilize the server in the copilot. Then you just start it from here and it will pick automatically. But I'm not going to do that. Let me show you an, another way. I'm going to first stop it. Okay, so there is another way you can build your own client. So this is the sample code, which I have picked it from one of the GitHub repo where they are consuming the client. So you will figure it out where this code is. It is available on the internet. And what this code is doing here is, uh, it is utilizing MCP. And then we are defining the function over here. So whatever your function or the tools you are having, you need to just list them over here because this is your tool. And then you provide how do you want to invoke it. So this is just a lame way, but we can definitely improve it more. So this is the only main thing which I have done it over here. Next thing is it is making a call to the function using this particular. So I'm not going to explain you all these things because this is already readily available on internet. I have not done it on my own because writing client could be a lot simpler than what this is doing over here. So let's skip this part. And here I'm utilizing open AI as my LLM. So let's see how we can invoke it over here. So I'm just calling UV run example client.py and here you can see that it pulled out all the tools which are available here. So in our case it's just one so it just picked it and now we can ask something it now we're talking with our LLM. So I want to know uh, weather information. So now it is asking which city we want to know. So I want to know the weather information for the city. And here you can see that this time also we got the same response, which are APIs returning. So you can see that how easy it is to consume the APIs hosted over Azure using just uh, uh, creating an MCP in the middle. So that's all I have for today. And I will try to come up with another video in which we will see how we can perform the same thing over HTTP. So that's all I have for today and do let me know in comments if this case is working for you. Thanks for watching.